Hey guys, it's Gianna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to unbox the glasses that I purchased from Fermu. If you're not familiar with Fermu, it is an online optical store that sells very affordable, very trendy, unique prescription glasses and sunglasses. It's actually the second time that I've purchased from them. The first time that I bought glasses from their website was about two years ago and I love the glasses that I bought from them and I really enjoyed the experience that I had on their website. Out of all of the online prescription glasses stores that I have checked out, I always gravitate towards Fermu because I feel like they have the best promotions, the best sales throughout the year, and their prices are just affordable. Especially when you compare it to your local optical store, for example, LensCrafters or Pearl Vision, I know the prices can run a little bit more expensive. I actually have a new pair from LensCrafters as well, but through my insurance, it's a little bit cheaper. But if I didn't have insurance, I probably would have paid for one pair of glasses, probably over $120. I purchased two glasses from Fermu. They currently have a promotion going on of a BOGO buy one get one free plus 15% off lenses. Two glasses that I bought came up to be around I believe $70 and that included my lenses and I think I also added blue light to one of them and then also the scratch resistant and I believe uh, reflective in both of the glasses that I purchased. However, before I get into the unboxing and trying on the glasses that I purchased, I wanted to do a quick overview and basically how to purchase glasses from this website. All right guys, we are on the Fermu website. Like I said, they currently have a sale going on right now. And I'm just scrolling down just to show you briefly what kind of glasses that they have. And also the prices that you see, that is the price that you pay for the lenses and the glasses. But that's only if the lenses are without any add-ons or upgrades to your lenses. The process of buying glasses from Fermu is pretty self-explanatory, but let's do an example and let's say I wanted to buy this pair and as you can see it's a medium sized frame and they show you the sizing too so if you have any concerns on how big it may be, they provide that for you. Here is just an overall guide of how to pretty much measure what size glasses may fit you or is suitable for your face. I personally didn't use this at all. I just know that for me, a small or medium size frame works best for my face. So once you've decided on the frame that you like and that you want to buy, this is when you would put in your prescription. Also knowing your PD or pupillary distance will help you in deciding which frame will be too big or too small for you. My prescription was already saved since I had purchased from them already and if you can see at the bottom left, the price is still at $23.99. And like I stated previously, it will go up or stay the same price depending on, you know, the type of lens that you may want. Like I said, if it's going to be basic with no additional features on it. What you see next will be all of the upgrades and options that Fermu has for you. As you can see, the price of your glasses can easily increase depending on whether or not you're going to choose any of these upgrades or just leave it as basic as can be. Then once you've decided everything that you've wanted for your lenses, you just add it to your cart and then pay. So now that I've gone over briefly on how the website works, it's time to unbox my glasses. 
I said, I purchased two glasses. So let's open the first one. I don't remember it coming in this cardboard box the last time I purchased from them, but okay. So the first pair that I purchased are this pair right here. It is a square shaped in an ivory tortoise shell color off the bat first impressions the color in person i'm really digging it it was kind of iffy as i would i was scared it was gonna be more of a yellow tone but i'm glad it's more um muted and more of a neutral tone and you can really see like the speckled of like the tortoise pattern really showing so these are what they look like on um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I am in love with these glasses. I don't hate them one bit. They are not falling off my face, which is great. Um, they're not slipping off. One thing that you can't really do when you buy the glasses um, from online is to adjust them yourself. I'm pretty sure you can, but I personally would be too scared to. That's why like when you go to like, let's say Lens Crafters or Pearl Vision, you have the staff that are able to do that and bend the back piece, like the ear part for you. But first impressions, I love these glasses. And these are the pair that I added the blue lenses to it. So if you don't know what that is, it pretty much reduces the strain when you are looking at electronic devices and also from the sun, so UV rays, and it just really prevents excessive strain on your eyes. Moving on to my second pair of glasses. Um, whenever I buy glasses, I like to try different styles. I don't want to get like, let's say two round ones or two square ones. I like to explore my options and try different styles because you just, you just never know. So this one is, um, I believe a cat eye style frame. And this is what it looks like. They are much lighter than the first ones that I, sh first ones that I showed you. Um, the real reason that I bought these because I felt like they were really unique, especially on the the bridge of the nose, like that part. Like I've never seen that design before, so I was totally digging it. They are definitely smaller than I thought they would be, but I'm glad they're not too big. Um, they are a black frame with gold accents, so let's try these on. Like I said, they are lighter. I don't want to say the word flimsy, but they're very delicate, so I wouldn't be like too rough with these if you were to purchase this pair. Um, they do have the nose pads, which I, I honestly prefer, in my opinion, um, than glasses that don't have nose pads, because I, I guess because I feel like I have a small nose, so I just am always fearful that if I buy glasses that don't have a nose pad, that they're gonna slip off. So I'm glad the first pair that I bought, I don't have that feeling that they're gonna fall off my face. So let's try these on. Um, I like them. They are definitely smaller than I thought. I don't know if you can tell, but I did not add the blue um, lenses onto these. Um, I only added it to one pair. So I'm gonna compare the lenses of these to my first one. So I don't know if you can obviously tell um, that these pair, that this pair has, um, that this pair has the blue light lenses on it versus this one that doesn't um both of them do have the anti-scratch and anti-reflective okay guys so that's it for this video these are the two glasses that i purchased i will put them in comparison here like i said i will put the links down below of the glasses that i purchased but i really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for trying on these glasses with me and i will see you in my next video bye